Welcome to Code Jungle. In this video, we will discuss about DFS or Depth for Search algorithm. DFS is a recursive algorithm which is commonly used for traversing graphs or trees. This algorithm starts at the root or the source node and goes in a specific path or branch unless and until the branch ends. Once the branch or the path ends, it backtracks to find an unexplored path and then explores it. This method continues till the whole graph or the tree has been traversed. In this video, we will discuss about DFS algorithm for trees. As far as DFS algorithm for trees are concerned, there are three methods that is pre-order traversal, post-order traversal and in-order traversal. In this video, we will be discussing about post-order traversal of DFS in trees. However, we also have videos for DFS for graph as well as DFS for trees in in-order and post-order traversals. A link has been given below in the description box for the same. So, to begin with, we are going to use this tree as an example to understand post-order traversal. In post-order traversal, for a given set of root node, left node and right node, be it a set of these three nodes or these three nodes or these three nodes, the pattern in which data is traversed is always left child node first, that is this one, then right child node, that is this one, and then finally root node, that is this one. So, if we consider a set of these three nodes, it will be 2 and then 3 and then 1. And this is the pattern which is supposed to be followed in the whole tree. Now, let's get back to the tree and check how it works. So, to begin with, we will always put the root node into a stack and then we will check what is the left node for this root node. Here the left node is 2. Again we will put this 2 into the stack and considering this as the root node we will again check if there is a left hand node or not. Here the left hand node for 2 is 4. So again I push 4 into the stack. Next same scenario we will check considering 4 as root node if there is a left hand node for 4 or not. Here there is no more left hand node for 4. So we will consider 4 as the left hand node, 5 is the right hand node and 2 as the root node for going through the post order traversal. That is our pattern should be left node that is 4, right node that is 5 and then top node or root node that is 2. So now we put 4 into the output and we pop it out of the stack. Next we go to the next element that is 5. So 5 is the top element over here which we push into the stack and then we check if there is a left or the right element over here. In case of 5 there is no child node hence 5 is popped out of the stack and has been kept in the output. Next we go to the next node that is 2. So now because the left child and the right child of 2 has been covered so again we pop out 2 from the stack and put it into the output. The next element in the stack is 1 that is the topmost element. Now for 1 because we have already considered the left hand node so next we will consider the right hand node. So 3 comes into the stack. Next we will check if there is a left node for 3 or not. It is there so 6 comes into the stack. Next we will check if there is a child node for 6 or not. There is no child node for 6, hence 6 has been popped out of the stack 
and has been accumulated in the output. Next, we will check for the right node of 3. Here, the right node of 3 is 7. Hence, 7 comes into the stack and then we will check for the child node for 7. As there are no child node for 7, 7 has been popped out of the stack and has been accumulated in the output. Now, because we have left node 6 into the output, right node 7 into the output, time to go for the root node. So, we will go for 3 and we will pop it out of the stack and we will put it into the output. Now, the next element which is there in the stack is 1. Now, for 1, we already have left element into the output, right element into the output. Hence, we will put 1 into the output and pop it out of the stack. Now, if we notice, there are no more elements into the stack and if we notice, there are no unexplored path left into the tree. With this, the post order traversal for the tree has been done where first we entered left hand element then the right hand element and then the root node element. That's all for this video. Link for the source code is given below in the description box. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and do comment, share and subscribe to the channel. We will be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching.